G'day everyone and welcome to another exciting episode of The Tech Effect. You! Take two. Episode two. Episode two, that's right, yes. Oh. Two of many. Two of many. Two of many, many yes. Count. Great to be here. It is great to be here. Yeah. I'm Pete Techman Coman and beside me is Mark the Bearded Tech. Beautiful, that's a beautiful beard. Is it glistening? It is glistening. Is it? Yeah, yeah, actually, you know, if you had some glitter in there, that would be amazing. Oh, don't, yeah, don't get me started. Yeah. You've seen, the, you've seen the, the, the Facebook um, photos of people putting beads and... I have oh, seen that, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I mean, yeah. That's, no, that's not you? No, okay. yeah, no. All right. My kids might have another one. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, like, today we want to talk about the fact that Integrate is just around the corner, and for those of you that mm. don't know what Integrate is, uh, Integrate is our it's an exciting time. industry yeah. AV centric show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this year it's in Melbourne. Okay, so it alternates between Sydney and Melbourne every year, and we're both going to be there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Can't yeah. get enough of Integrate. Yeah, it's, it's it's the one time where yeah. uh, our industry comes together. Like they're, they're all in the one place at the yeah. one time. Yeah, yeah. good so time to really... catch up with a lot of people and. Um, you know, have, have a have a few networking drinkies. Yes, yes. Enjoy that. There's a lot of that, that, goes, lot of that goes on. Yes. on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really enjoy it. I can't, I and, can't get enough. And, and it's a good show for those that can't get to Infocom or ISC. This is the Australian version of those shows. Yeah, they're doing it pretty well. They're doing yeah, a great job. Yeah, absolutely. The last few absolutely. years have really come along. And, yeah. And uh, yeah, I'll take my hat off to them. It's a yeah. hell of a job to run the event like exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah, there's, there's, you know, like Gary Kay coming from overseas. Yes, that's right. Yeah, 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 all the yeah, way from the US. It. Yeah. So, uh, you know, that's, there's some big names coming. There is. No, it should be great. Yeah. And to tell me what... Other than uh, <laughs> himself over there is uh, yeah, the biggest name of all. Yeah, 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 yeah. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, what are you excited about Integrate? What What are you looking forward to? Is there anything, like some new products that you yeah. want to have a look at? No, look, there's three things I love about Integrate, right? Yeah. Um, there's, there's new products that are always always coming through. Uh, the training is just getting better yeah. and better and better. The way they structure their yeah, training. The presenters. The presenters, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah presenters, this guy over here. <laughs> um, the, uh, and the way they structure the, the the purchasing and being able to do that. You know? yes, so you just yeah. buy a one day pass and you can get yeah, it. Rather than actually sort of pay for every single yeah, class. I think they, that's the way they did it a few years back. They did, yeah. 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 And it made it really hard sometimes because yes. you were. You might have been talking on, to someone on a, on a stand yeah. and going, oh, got to go, yeah. got to get, and then you were 10 minutes late, yeah. and then, you know, so, um, and, and sometimes you got into them and you were going, oh, this is actually not relevant yes. to what I was, what you, th- what I thought, you thought it was going to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. so you can skip out and get yes. on to the next one. So, yeah. uh, I think it's, a, and they, they've made it certainly affordable yeah. for people who invest yeah. in themselves, yeah. um, which is a great thing. Yes. And I was just say, as I say, the, uh, the networking stuff, yes. you, I don't think you can actually put a price point on networking. <laughs> um, and if you have a few beers in the meantime, well then, hey presto. You know what I find funny? I, I'll go to ISC and I go to Infocom and I'll walk around and I can see the whole show. And because it's an international show, I don't know that many people, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it integrate, everybody knows each other, yes. right? So you're walking yeah. around and you go, Oh, hey, Mark, how you, you can't going? Get blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, look, better keep going. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, John, how you going? Like, yeah. You just, you, I, and I, last year, I didn't get off the Extron stand. I, I walked on there because it like their prime position, their front and center yeah. right there. Yeah. And I didn't get to see any of the show last year. Really? Yeah, just because- None of the floor? None of the floor. I, I, I might have like ducked over here and there, but I did yeah. not get to walk the floor, right? And it's, and it's obviously, it's not the same size. It's nowhere near as big as Infocom or ISC, yeah. but because everyone knows each other, like you say about the networking, Yeah. You're always bumping into someone that you know, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's always some good whiskey on the high tashi stand. Well, that's <laughs> that's the thing. That's, that's always a good draw card. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Japanese whiskey. Japanese yeah, whiskey. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's a full tour almost um, last year. So yeah, I, by the time I finished the tour, I was like mm, a little under the weather. Well, well, people have asked me. Some of the manufacturers asked me, "What should we do differently to bring people to the stand?" And I said, "Look, I'm telling you." Whiskey, and they go, What are you talking about? No, no, we bet product. No, oh, you want people on your stand, yeah, yeah, oh, oh, it's always, good. always a good draw, <laughs> especially in Australia, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah that's right. Well, actually, I was, I was thinking, I was talking to someone uh, not that long ago, and and someone might correct me, and if, if I'm wrong, write in and let me know, but um. Was it LG in worldwide yeah. has a has a, a no alcohol policy? If you so if you're a, yeah. if you're an LG rep and yeah. and so I'm the rep and you're my client, um, and we go to lunch. Yes, uh, 
there's no alcohol policy at lunch, right? right? Except Australia, which and maybe New Zealand. I think mm. I think they took it out of their. Um, is this a recent thing? Uh, last twelve or eighteen months. I'm not sure. Right. I, look, I may be wrong. Um, but uh, it's a hearsay. Maybe I was getting told this over a bit. Well, uh, anyway, <laughs> ironically, right? Well, I can, I can tell you, uh, probably 18 months ago, maybe two years ago, I was fortunate enough to go on a LG trip to Korea. Yeah. And there may have been some alcohol consumed oh, on okay. that trip. So I'm not too sure yeah. how, how true that, that is, yeah, right. if, if we're talking about LG. Right, okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. Again, yeah. Uh, we weren't drinking... Uh, you know, Coke and lemonade. Yeah, right. Well, so, through brewskis. Yes. Yeah, yeah nice. there were a few. Nice, good stuff. Yeah, so, product-wise? Product product-wise. Product, there... yeah. um, product I, I, look, I love seeing what's new on the yes. floor. Um, there's, a, there's a few things that have, have probably started, as I've started doing my research on what's happening in the integration, because yeah. you're always trying to sit there and go, what do I need to do? What do I, what do I need to what's see? My, yeah. what, what's my stuff I've got to... I've... Sorry, are you there for the three days? The whole three days? The whole three days. So, so three-day yeah. show. Yeah. Um, yeah. In the day before, out the day after. Yes, not yep. sure how well I'll be at the, by the time Friday happens, but yep, you know, yep. your eyes are normally hanging out your head yes. and you've got no voice left. Yes, that's right. Um, <laughs> so, uh, look, Logitech's really kicking some butt at the moment. Oh, they are. Yes, yeah, I agree. So I, I really want to see where they're going. They've got this new um, partnership going on yeah. with uh, Extron. Extron, yes. They've got some yeah. great partnerships happening with um, all the UC guys, um, mm. you know, uh, Microsoft Teams, yes. Zoom. Yep. Uh, is there another one that they've that they've joined with? Uh, not sure, but it, look, they're, what they're doing is is really they're, they're bringing these the, these cost effective cost solutions, effective solutions yeah, great yeah. products. Yeah, yeah. And there's a lot of other products that are out there that maybe the grandfathers of yeah. you know cameras, yes. you know, and and they're they're, they're a higher price point, um, but they're bringing these. That, so they might be like a three grand camera yeah, or something yeah, like that. Yeah. And, um, what Logitech's doing for say a thousand bucks. Um, there's not two grand difference sure. in the quality yeah. uh, that, that I've seen. So, yes. yeah. uh, and, and we're seeing a lot of stuff with um, cameras in, in little soundbars. And Correct, like, yeah, integrated all in one. I mean, yeah, and, and that goes and all the way through to the likes of Cisco, who are doing exactly the same thing with exactly. their room kits. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, I think um, uh, Crestron's Crestron. doing it, AMX are doing it. Yes. Um, and certainly uh, Logitech, Logitech are, are doing, are, are doing yeah, it. So, yeah. really keen to see what's where they're going, yep. what's happening, um, who they're partnering. They've got a really good partnership yep. uh, deal going on yes. for a lot of people. So, uh, And that's very much current to my market yes. in, uh, in the K-12 case. Yes. So bring, because it's now becoming affordable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's that, that's one. Um, I totally got, just, just on that, I, I um, as we are talking about before, I'm presenting at, at Integrate on consumerization of the workplace. Yeah, right. One of the, uh, there's, a, there's a whole section in there where I'm talking about Logitech, funny enough, right? Okay. Well, because you think about it, where, where did Logitech come from? Like, what did they start doing? Like, back in the day, what, when Logitech was first born, what did they make? USB cameras and... No, like, how, how old are you? Oh, like, no, well, I'm not... <laughs> Don't be deceived by the greatness in the video. <laughs> when, when Logitech first started, I think uh, in the eighties, they started. Yeah, they yeah, made I mice. Remember that far, but oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's no grey here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> made mice. As they in made keyboard mice. <laughs> well, they made they made computer mice. They made yeah. they made keyboards. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They made joysticks. They were consumer. Joysticks. Joysticks. Ha! That's Can, really. Yeah, you, you oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. A, a consumer centric organization, yeah, right? Yeah. And the thing is, they have a known name, right? So, for mm. consumers, people know of Logitech, yeah, yeah, right? And they go, yeah. Oh, yeah, I heard of, I've heard of Logitech, so I trust it, right? Yeah. right? Yeah. And uh, and I just find that fascinating that, that they have grown their market share uh, significantly in the last five years. If you have a look at their share price, They've gone up, I think it was like 500, 600%, like in the last five wow. years. And it's not because they're selling more keyboards and mice. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's because they've diversified and they've got in, into this unified communications yeah. market. And doing it reasonably well. And they're doing it reasonably yeah. Like you said, uh, yeah. what we were talking about before, cost-effective solutions. Yeah. That's sure, there's probably a better product out there on the market, but you're going to pay for that. Yeah. So, so do you think um, because of that, the, way, the, the path that they've come, yeah. that... Maybe the integrator has been a little bit hesitant 
Absolutely. In, in taking that up. I think it's I think, sort of building that credibility. Well, and not just the integrator, but you could talk about so like consultants as well. Yeah. Right? The same kind of boat. You go, well, Logitech, you know, like like in the commercial that's world. The, that's the immediate thought, isn't it? That for, yeah. From the integrators and from the consultants, it's like, oh, that's a consumer product. But yes. at the end of the day, the person who's making the decisions on whether they should purchase it or not is the consumer, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah. it's like consumer product. Yeah, so what? Yeah. I'm okay with that. Yeah. That's that's their thought process. So I, I think our industry needs to come around. I think we need to change our way of thinking. And we always want to be pushing commercial grade product in. Mm -hmm. And the consumer's going, but that's good enough. Yeah. That's good enough. I, yeah. yeah, great. That, that looks like a fantastic product and all, all the bells and whistles, but that's good enough. And it's simple. It's simple. easy to use because the user interface sure. really is sort of driven by the, yep. the consumerization and user faith that they have a very much a correlation Absolutely. together. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, I, was, I was reading a, an article just the other day on, on you know, that we do definitely, I don't, I don't necessarily think it's just the AV industry actually. Yeah. I, I think every product is now, yes. it's got to do a, a flip and say, mm -hmm. how is this from the consumer perspective? Yeah. Um, and so, I think, and, and certainly that'll rewrite a lot in our industry though. 100%. The control. 100%. Yeah, you know, how we're going to do control. Um, totally agree. You know, and sometimes if we even need control. Yes. You know, totally which will, agree. which will, you know, we'll bring that's, in that voice is, and that's a whole other day. That's a, that is another day. <laughs> yes. or, or week or month. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so look. Any other products? Um, I'm really, not, uh, I, I want to see Casio. Right. Okay. So Casio, it's a, it's a long story. You know, yeah. Well, not maybe not so long story. Right. They're, yeah. they're now yeah. ten years into the market, but yeah. in Australia, are you talking uh, about or are you talking no, about globally? Believe, from what, globally, okay. from my understanding, T so. ten years from a projector point of view, right? Yeah. Because like obviously, like back calculates. when I was a kid, yeah, with Casio calculators, Casio watches. watches. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so from in there, they've, they've recently released, I believe, at Infocom a a four K, um, so fully native four K. 5,000 ANSI. Fully native 4K, not using wobulation? That's my understanding, Ooh. yeah, yeah. So okay. I'm really, I'm really right. yeah, keen to get okay. in and have a look at it. And yep. look, you know, they've maybe struggled with the credibility, Casio, yes. right? Yeah. Um, yeah. And I'm, I'm sure there's people that are sitting there going, mm, Casio, yeah, I think ca ca it's a little bit like Logitech. Yeah, that's right, a good name, right? Like yeah. A, yeah. yeah, but they're still but they're not known, yeah. not known really for projectors. They're not, projectors aren't, you know, first and foremost, a product, Range, like you know what I mean, like yeah. in the market, out of all the products that they make, you don't. Yeah. When you hear Casio, most people wouldn't think projectors. No, yeah, no. I mean, I default to Casio. Yeah, Casio. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so it'll be great to see what they've got going on, yeah. um, and sort of see the quality of picture that they had. I, I, yeah. I looked at them many years ago, maybe yeah. at a, a Cedia or something yeah, like that, yeah. and um, and. You know, they, they were just really struggling for brightness. I yes. think they've got this whole solid state. What they're they're were, an generation. I, yeah, I was going to say, I, I seem to recall a number of years back, I think they were first to market or one yeah. of the first to market uh, with laser or yeah. LED yes. um, or a combination, like a hybrid yeah. projector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now they're at eighth generation, I believe. Wow. So, so that'll be great to see them. What yeah. about you? What are you looking at? Well, I, I look. I went to Infocom in June, so like big show, lots of new products and so on. So, but so there's probably not a lot of new products that I'm actually going to see at uh, Integrate seen. that I haven't already seen, yeah. unfortunately. Um, but there are two products that are being released later this year, hopefully later this year, right? Might be really early next year. Yeah. But one is the yeah I know this is the scoop that it is the scoop, scoop. yes. So uh, one of them is. Barco have got a brand new projector, native 4K. Native okay? 4K. Native 4K. <laughs> so it's not it's not so, using modulation, so right? Yeah, yeah. And it is 120 hertz, right? It is 3D. Uh, it's twenty two thousand lumens, Ooh, right? It's a big box. Well, uh, yeah, it's a big box, right? Yeah. Um, but relative their price point relative to their competitors is super super competitive yeah. um when we were talking you know look the, the products on their website it just hasn't been released so the specifications are still finalizing that the pricing is still finalizing it but i tell you what if if you're looking for a, a projector with that kind of specification you should have a good look at that yeah because right. compared dollar wise compared to the competitors it's it's somewhere like 
half, near half price. Like, it, like it's really cost effective. So where we're going to use something like that? Yeah. Uh, well, look, one of the applications that we have at the moment for, for one of our clients is actually in a university. So it's data visualization. Right. So purpose built sort of data arenas or visualization studios where yeah. they want something that is obviously they want a laser projector, you know, so there's no lamp. So they are specialized spaces. You're not going to put them in a typical classroom. No, no. But they are a beautiful projector. From what I've seen on the spec sheet, I wish, I hope that they can bring one out for integrate. I don't think that's going to happen. But yeah. look, seriously, if you're after a projector, in that kind of spec range. And so will that go into live events? Will that, that, that is the space? Yeah, I, I, possibly. Possibly. Yeah. I think it might be a little on the underpowered side. It depends what you're using it for. It's yeah. like anything. It depends on the application. Yeah. Um, 22,000 lumens is fairly bright, but, you know, you, if you're talking about sort of live events like Vivid and, and those kinds of things, yeah. quite often they're 50,000, yeah. 70,000. They're, they're yeah. even brighter yeah. still. DLP. So, what's that? DLP. Uh, DLP, three chip DLP. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's exciting. Yeah. The other product that's coming out around about the same time is from Panasonic. And Panasonic have got a new 55 inch LCD video wall display. Right. Okay. So, what's so special about that? <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. There's a, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of product out there. Waiting exactly, for it. The thing, it, it has ultra 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 that's not official that's not the official term but ultra ultra narrow bezels yeah right, right? oh that's not a marketing term no 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 i i've come up with a few marketing terms you've seen it here first I, ultra 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 narrow bezels yeah yeah, yeah three use. three use. that's it 0.44 of a millimeter bezel 0.44 of a millimeter so and so bezel to bezel and it's the same size all the way around so it's actually 0.88 Bezel to bezel. How thick is a hair strand? I, I, I know. Yeah. I know. It's got I, I don't have that answer. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> but, but it is tiny. Like, the, yeah, like yeah. it's ridiculous. So that's, I think, for a lot of people, no, because people are sort of going, oh, I want to go LED, but I can't afford, because of no bezels, right? Yeah, yeah. But I can't afford LED. This is a really cost-effective solution. Yeah. It's around about the same price as the, the other players with their, you know, 1.2 mil uh, really? bezels. Uh, so, yeah, so last year I was at Integrate, and I'm sure I was talking to the Panasonic guys, and I think they were right at the cusp of changing all their panels from yep. 1080 to 4K. They're still 1080. Uh, the, 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 video still wall, the video wall panels are still 1080. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, okay. But, all you right. know, but you're talking about a video wall, you can... Uh, if, you if, can if you 4K you, or anything. You get, well, it depends how big the video wall is, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. you get 4K, 8K, whatever. So it's big. As long as you've got something to drive it. Yeah, of course. Your source to yeah, drive well, there's it. plenty of uh, new kit coming on the market. That is, that's, that's right. right. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so that's exciting. So uh, let me ask you on yeah. video walls. Right? Yes. Um, I've seen this a bit in, in uh, the education space, yeah. video walls. LED is just too expensive. Yeah. So they go, let's put a video wall, but they're, they're, they're a multi purpose center. Yes. All right, so yeah. there's basketballs flying around yeah, the front yeah, yeah. center. Yeah. What have you seen out there yeah. to cover that? Like, like you've done a recent job yeah. at Mercedes, yeah, where you potentially right. dealt with that. Yeah, uh, that project has glass in front of every display, not from a protective point of view, that's from an architectural point of view. Right. They are huge panes of glass, right? It yeah. takes. Massive weight. Yeah, they're, they're super heavy. Yeah. Uh, but they said that from a, that's an architectural uh, from an architectural perspective. Yeah. From a uh, say a school's perspective, like you say a hall where they've got that kind of thing. Look, um, it's not a space that we do a lot of work in, like doing that kind of thing. But obviously, you've got to try and protect it in some some capacity, right? Like I don't know, is that is that perspex? Is it? Yeah, this, this, there seems to be a, it's like a, an opening there for someone to come up with a solution, but yeah. it's, it surely won't be easy if you're going to a say a, a three by three. Yeah, um, because that's a that's a yes. big sheet of perspex, and yes. especially you can't really stand it off yeah. anything in the middle yeah. at at eighty eight mil. Yeah, yeah, that's know, right. So, but um, but I, I have seen from from some of the manufacturers, and I, I'm pretty sure Panasonic have got a super tough screen. Yeah. I'm not too sure. I don't think that it's a video, video wall. Uh, oh, yeah. You could probably video wall it, but it's got 
larger bezels. Yeah. But um, I've definitely seen it, one of those trade shows that I've been to, this swinging hammer that comes down yeah. and belts into the screen and doesn't yeah. crack the screen. I, said, yeah. I, think, I, I seem to recall, I think it's Panasonic. But um, there are manufacturers out there that do it. Now, whether they've combined that technology with a video wall display yeah. with ultra, ultra, ultra narrow bezels, yeah, right? yeah, like, yeah. is another thing, right? Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. I, I think that, that kind of application is um, like, you know, not that common as such, yeah. right? So you, you wouldn't think that they'd be putting... Maybe, yeah. Well, I mean, we're starting to see it a lot more now. Yeah. You know, um, we're, we're certain, certainly seeing K-12 putting yeah. video walls. Yeah. You know, we've just just done a 3x3, three three. we did a 3x2, um, we missed out on a 3x3, three three, actually two 3x3s three right. in there. And they were yeah. all sort of open spaces yeah. where balls are flying. So, But I think what's going to supersede that is obviously LED. Like, yes, granted, LED is more expensive and it can't go pixel for pixel if you're talking about high resolution. Yeah, sure. However... You know the sporting game you know, when you watch the footy on TV or soccer or any kind of sports and they have the LED uh, digital signage all the way around, like on the ground level? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if you've seen that. It's actually rubberized LED panels. Really? Yeah, they're made of, it's made of rubber and the, the LED is set back and the, the, actually FIFA have a standard, a global standard that you have to use it has to be a certain specification so it doesn't cause it, uh, any of the players it, like injury yeah. if they go crashing into it yeah okay so it does two things so so one it stops injury for the players yeah but two it's because the pixels are a recess protected. it's protected as well yeah. so like because you look at the cricket uh baseball all those kinds of sports the ball's always sort of smacking or not always but yeah it has a tendency to sort of smack into the the screen yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, been yeah, protected absolutely. it yeah, just yeah. destroyed every single time yeah yeah right yeah. so do you know who does it no, I don't know who, who manufactured it, but, but I, I've, once again, I've seen it shows that it's just a rubberized LED tile specifically for those for sporting events. Yeah, they've certainly got a big yeah. market, haven't they? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, great, great, great. Yeah. Well, look, we've digressed. We have. Some we, we, of, uh, Infocom. Yes. Uh, integrate. Integrate. So, integrate. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so I'm, I'm yeah. dreaming that I'll be at Infocom next year. So You, should, you need to be there. We are. ISC. So. ISC in, in Amsterdam. Last year in Last Amsterdam. Last year. Coming, yeah. Coming, and then it goes yeah. to Barcelona, right? Barcelona, that's right. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, that should be good. Yeah, and the old and the new want to get there. So. Exactly. Yeah, awesome. Okay. All right. Bye. We'll see you guys. If you're around, come and say good day. See you guys. See ya.